University of Minnesota researchers are shedding light on some of the most pressing transportation challenges of our day, such as improving roadway safety, reducing traffic congestion, investing in alternative modes, and protecting our water resources from harmful runoff. Imagine, for instance, navigating busy intersections with little or no eyesight. Crossing a street isn't risk-free for any pedestrian, but it's especially challenging for the blind or visually impaired. U of M researchers are developing a groundbreaking and cost-effective system that will help revolutionize the way people with visual impairment navigate busy streets. The Mobile Accessible Pedestrian Signal, or MAPS, gives directions and real-time information about traffic signals and safety to visually impaired pedestrians through an easy smartphone app. U of M researchers are also studying the experience of pedestrians and bicyclists at two roundabouts in the Twin Cities. Roundabouts are becoming more common in Minnesota and across the country as a way to ease congestion and reduce serious crashes. But concerns about roundabout accessibility and safety for pedestrians and bicyclists have prompted a closer look. The research team collected video of thousands of pedestrian and bicycle crossings. They recorded only three close calls, but did note friction between pedestrians and drivers. At one roundabout, drivers yielded to pedestrians and bicyclists only 45% of the time. Study findings will help traffic engineers create safer roundabouts. In another project, U of M researchers used infrared counters to determine miles traveled on Minneapolis city trails by cyclists and pedestrians. Along with data from local sources, the researchers found that bicycle and pedestrian traffic volumes follow distinct patterns. These could be used to develop models for estimating non-motorized traffic on city streets, sidewalks, and trails. As a result, this bicycle and pedestrian traffic research is helping policymakers and planners make better planning, engineering, maintenance, and funding decisions about investments in non-motorized transportation infrastructure. U of M research is also helping to protect our water supply. Many dissolved pollutants in stormwater, such as phosphorus, are not filtered in most existing stormwater runoff treatment systems. But researchers at the St. Anthony Falls Laboratory have found a way to remove dissolved phosphate from stormwater. Their iron-enhanced sand filtration system, called the Minnesota Filter, has been installed in a number of locations around the Twin Cities. Initial results showed an average 70% reduction in stormwater phosphate. That effectiveness, along with its low cost, has encouraged further adoption of the system. You've just had a glimpse of how the Center for Transportation Studies works closely with more than 150 faculty and research staff in 30 U of M departments. Together with a multitude of external partners, CTS is illuminating innovative transportation solutions for us all. And because of the light University of Minnesota researchers are shining on these transportation challenges, our future is brighter than ever. <laughs>